Hello and welcome to this week's Beyond the Panels. Um, in keeping with our spookiness, uh, last week I did ghosts, so this week I thought I would do some vampires. So all my titles today feature vampires. Um, my first one is a classic manga, it is Helsing. And this is a wildly popular anime, and this is the manga adaptation. It is about a vampire that works with the Catholic Church. And he has a fancy magic gun that shoots silver bullets. And he is after all the bad vampires and demons and such. And um, I thought this was a, a neat one. It's popular among, especially the anime, is popular among a lot of people. And uh, being raised Catholic, I always appreciate the uh, secret society uh, sanctioned monster Catholic angle. So I thought that was pretty cool. And we can't talk about Halloween or horror in general without the Mistress of the Dark, Elvira. And this is um, a more recent comic that just came out last year, I believe. And this one is called Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, Time Scream. And through shenanigans, she is flung through a magic coffin into the time stream and uh, is being chased after by Dracula, Vlad the Impaler. And um, as she hops through time, she meets um, various people like uh, Mary Shelley, Edgar Allan Poe, um, Bram Stoker, and uh, she even lands on the set of Bride of Frankenstein. So, though she herself is not a vampire, uh, she is pursued by Vlad the Impaler, the original vampire. And another thing, speaking of famous vampires, we do have a plethora of Buffy the Vampire Slayer comics, um, but I picked this one since it has not only Spike, but Dracula as well. Um, a lot of people are fans of the Buffy the, Vampire, Pi, ugh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer TV show, which we do have in the system. But after the show had ended, uh, several years later, Joss Whedon um, actually picked it back up and continued it in comics. So the comics were actually continuations as though the TV show never ended. So they're actually titled Season 8, Season 9, to Season 10, which we do have um, numerous ones in the system, although they've since done an even more recent reboot. But this one is a tale through time about Spike and Dracula. And it tells the story of a tribe of Romani that curse Angel. And Spike enacts his revenge against the Romani, who were under the protection of Dracula. And so it shows them fighting throughout the decades because um, of their blood feud. And since it's just dracula Orama today, um, this is the complete Dracula. So this is a direct adaptation of the original text. And it has pretty awesome painted interiors and it's really um, true to form. So a direct adaptation and it's got really creepy ambiance to it. But even if you've read Dracula before, you never have and you're curious, this is a great adaptation um, to check out. And this is another very popular one. We have the entire run in the system. It's American Vampire, which is um, written by Scott Snyder, who is probably most well known for um, his new 52 Batman arc. He's the one that uh, created the Court of Owls, but he also did a number of horror titles. Um, he did Witches, which was a really popular horror um, series from Image. He also did another one that was sort of like a sort of horror sci-fi dystopian called The Wake. Um, and this was a vampire horror series that he did for Vertigo, which was the mature imprint of DC. And it follows um, Skinner Sweet, 
who is the very first American vampire. And being the first American vampire, he's slightly different than the traditional European vampire. So light doesn't bother him as much. He has different strengths and weaknesses. And it goes, um, follows him throughout the decades as well. So each volume is sort of a different decade, but um, he is first turned in the Wild West. And it follows him through time as he sort of sires his progeny and transforms other people into this new breed of vampire. Um, another more modern, uh, interesting take on the vampire mythos is 30 Days of Night, which um, they did make into a movie. This is an older copy since it says soon to be a major motion picture. Um, but when it came out, it was really groundbreaking because the, the crux of the plot revolves around um, Alaska, where there's literally 30 days of night. So they, they took it and ran with it, where most vampires traditionally have a weakness to sunlight, but what if they had a playground of an entire month where they didn't have to worry about the sun and they could just feed off anything and everything they wanted? Um, and it's written by Steve Niles, which is a, a really good, creepy um, author. And the um, art is by Ben Temple Smith. Ben Temple Smith is um, very one way or the other. You either really like him or you really don't. It's an acquired taste, and it, it translates really well to, to horror. But it's sort of abstract um, and jarring. Another series that's horror related that Ben Temple Smith um, created and drew is Wormwood Gentleman Corpse, which is another interesting one to check out. Um, and my last one today, we spoke about Hellboy in an earlier episode. This is another one um, by the same creative team, Mike Mignola and Christopher Golden. This is Baltimore. It takes place shortly after World War I, where there is a massive plague that sort of spawns um, a resurgence of vampires. And it follows this soldier, Lord Baltimore, as he is after... Um, a specific vampire to enact his bloody revenge for ruining his uh, life and killing his family. And we do have the complete run of this series. It's several volumes, I want to say nine at least. Um, and it follows him across Europe as he is constantly dogging the heels of his nemesis as well as um, confronting other monsters, werewolves, ghosts, other vampires. And it's definitely a good spooky read. So thank you so much for joining me today. Um, I hope you found some good reads. And uh, be sure to check out the library's YouTube channel. We have several different neat series about different readers' advisories. And um, as we gear up for Halloween, we'll have a lot more spookiness in store. So be sure to like, subscribe, comment. If you guys um, have any questions or if there's something you guys want to see, just leave them in the comments below. And I will see you next week.